Hello friends, a new week, a new MCQ. And this was the MCQ that I asked on all my social media platforms this week. Um, it was related to the general physiology with its clinical application. So let's see. A patient of tuberculosis is on anti-TB regimen and it was found that this patient has developed resistance to uh, one drug. And later on it was found that the patient has developed resistance to multiple drugs. So uh, which of the following transporters is likely responsible for this type of resistance? That was the question. The question was related to the transporter uh, and its understanding in the clinical setup. Options were uh, Symporter or ABC transporter or ATPase or ligand gated ion channel. And of course the answer was ABC transporter, ATP binding cassette transporter. So let's understand why this is the answer. Now first of all, uh, in this patient, some kind of an ABC transporter might have got expressed in his uh, cell membranes and that was responsible for this kind of a drug resistance. Let's understand what are these ABC transporters. Now first thing to be clearly understood is that they are different from ATPases. ATPases or pumps are primary active transporters like sodium potassium pump or H plus K plus ATPase. They are normally uh, expressed, they are normally present in all cell membranes or, or uh, certain cell membranes, whatever the case may be. And uh, they have a, a single domain for attachment of multiple things. I mean, let's say alpha subunit in sodium potassium pump. ATP will bind there and sodium and potassium will also bind there. And then there will be transport of those ions after ATP is hydrolyzed. So that is ATPase or pump all right that's different from these transporters uh, abc or atp binding cassette transporters now they have been found to have at least four domains so uh, to be understood is this thing that uh, there will be one part to which the atp will bind and atp hydrolysis will provide that energy to the other part, now this part, the other part of the transporter, it will act as a channel or a carrier. And channel means it will be acting like an effluxer, very commonly used term is the effluxer, means it can act as an efflux pump, that is it can allow certain substance to be effluxed or sent out of the cell. So that is how ABC transporters work. Uh, normally also they are expressed uh, uh, in certain cells. For example, SUR is uh, sulfonylurea receptor is said to be of this type or the other types like CFTR, cystic, cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductor regulator, which acts as a chloride channel. Uh, in this case, there is a type of ABC transporter, which is MDR, multi-drug resistance transporter. And the mechanism is this, that the ATP will bind to one part and then the other part will act as a channel, efflux channel. So in this case, the drug that was administered, that drug is simply thrown out of the cell. Efflux of the drug happens, which means that the drug will never reach a critical concentration inside the cell and therefore the cell will become resistant to the action of this drug. It could be an anti-TB drug or anti-cancer drugs. I mean why uh, certain cancer patients would become resistant to the action of anti-cancer drugs that they express these MDR transporters which are a type of ABC transporters and that is how uh, resistance develops to the drugs. So efflux is the mechanism that you should understand in this case uh, and they efflux the drug that is how resistance develops. So the answer was uh, ABC transporter it must have got expressed or over expressed in this patient and the drug which could not stay inside the cell because 
it was simply thrown out pumped out or effluxed from those cells a uh, structurally they are also called as p glycoproteins some additional information related to these mdr transporters they are said to be uh, p glycoproteins and the examples that i told you uh, cftr it's a chloride channel associated with the atp binding domain or uh, mdr all these are examples of abc transporters so that was the answer with explanation for the mcq that was posted this week